all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and this one of the trail I'm trying to see how to work with a very nice package called tox so what is tox so tox is a very nice python library that allows you to be able to test your package or your cli against several python versions so the normal way that we mostly do is that when you build your python file your python package you use maybe your ci right ci cd such as travis or circles circles ci then when you are building it it automatically test your package against the various Python versions, right? Here, right? Just as in this particular option. So in case this is a particular package that we built, it tests a very nice package. Then in case I want to test it against several Python versions, when I deploy it on GitHub, and then I've connected it to Travis CI, it will automatically test it against Python 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7. But with TOS, you can do that one locally, not in the cloud, but rather on your system locally. So let's see how to work with it. So I just come back to the basic stuff. So first of all, to install Tox, just go with pip install Tox, right? To install Tox on your system. So there are several other packages that can also help you to do the same thing. One of one of them is Nox, right? So Nox, you have to write it in Python, but this is Tox. So to just install, just go with pip install Tox. Very interesting and very, very simple. Then Tox requires some files to enable you to work. So the first of the file is that you need your setup.py file. So the setup.py file is, in case you are using setup tools to build your package, you need this particular file, right? So an example of setup.py file is something like this. If I go back to my option here, let's check it here. Here, so I have my setup.py file, right? So that is something like this. Then here you mostly specify the particular Python version that you require. So this is what it will be used to build, to build for support for all of these particular python versions then you can use tos to test it against all of these python versions right so that is the first thing that you need in case you are using setup.py file in case you are not using setup.py and you are using a, a package management tool like poetry or flint you can just go with pyproject.tomo right so these are the two main files either you are using this option or this option let's make it like this oh right perfect so let's see how to work with it too much of the token so i'll just come back here so I was testing it, so let's try it out. So I just come back to my file and I'll create my file called Tox. It must be in the same location. So I go with ls. So it must be in the same location as my stuff. So the normal stuff is that since I'm using poetry, I can just go with py test, right? So py test is going to run this particular test and then test my package. But to be using Python 3.8 instead of different Python versions. So in case I want to test with different Python versions like Python 3.6, 2.7. That is where TOS comes inside, right? In case you want to do it locally. So let's try that one. So just come back here and create a file called tox.ini, right? Then we will write some code on it. So I come back to my directory here. So I have my tox.ini. Then the first thing that we're going to specify tox, right? Pivot. Then after creating tox, you just specify the environment list. So environment list is going to be the particular Python versions you want to test on. So Python 2.7 which is deprecated python 3.5 let's say five, python 3.6 then let's say another python 3.7 then python 3.8 so we must you have make, make sure that you have all of these particular python versions on the system and that is going to feel i don't have this particular python version on my system so these are the python versions i have right so that's going to be my environment list very interesting. The next thing is I'm going to specify your test environment. So test env, right? Then here it takes several arguments. One of them is your dependencies. So I'm using pytest. Then this one is going to be my commands, right? Which is going to be pytest. So pytest, then I can, can put any command here. So pytest.v is going to work. Pytest, normal pytest is still going to work. Very interesting. And since in my case, I'm using pipe project the tomo file i have to create an isolated build right so i just come back to this place and i'll just specify isolated build is equal to true that is all that i need right perfect so i just come back to the same thing so the most important thing that you create talks here you specify the environment you set isolated build as true in case you are using a pi project the tomo file right and then you just specify the commands and the dependencies. So let's run it. I come back to my location here. Then to run it, just go with Tox. Then to run runs perfectly for you.
So what it will do that it will automatically create, build your package, right? Perfectly for us. Then after building it to use, to create a, a, a temporary environment here and to test against Python 2.7. And that is what it's going to do. So to try for Python 2.7, which was what was found here. Right, we had Python 2.7, then Python 3.6, 3.7 and the rest right that's the basic idea so it's going to test against it then it's going to fail right because python 2.7 is deprecated right that's why it's going to fail then to work on python 3.6 which was specified here right so we realized python 3.6 was well, the next one and to try for python 3.7 3.8 the same process right basic idea so what is doing behind the scenes that is creating this is how it works right you want to create a toss environment then it's going to install your package, your dependence in the package, then run the command, the last command, which was this command that we had on our file, this particular command here. So let's position it. So to first of all, going to set an environment based on the particular Python version. Then it's going to install your packages, your dependencies, which is this one here, then run the commands. Then it's going to do the same thing that has finished for this, Python 2.7, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3 right? That's a basic idea. So let's check it and see whether it has finished. It has finished for Python 3.6. It's now working on Python 3.7. Very, very interesting, right? So this is something very cool you can do locally on your system instead of using Travis CI or Circle CI. But it is advisable to use both of them, right? So that you save yourself time. <laughs> so that it's taking some time, right? So in case you have a lot of tests, you take a lot of time. So that's why you use maybe inside the cloud like Travis CI or Circle CI. Let's finish with Python 3.7. Then it's working on it perfectly for us, right? Very interesting. So it's going to run all the tests for us in a simple way based on the command you supply. So this was the command that we supplied. This was the command here, which was found on our last location here, right? This one, very interesting. So we run the last one. Then after that, it's going to give us a summary of what we have done to, to come to this particular place and give us a report of it. So it's very very simple. You start, to con you make your configuration, you want to build an environment, create the environment, install the dependencies and run the command, do it for all the Python versions, then give us a report, then you're done. Perfect. So, th so that that's finished, right? So this is going to be the summary of the report. So Python 2.7 failed, don't give us the reason it failed, right? Then it's also going to give us that Python 3.6, the commands are seeded, 0.7, 0.8, all of them succeeded. Very, very interesting. So that is how to work with Tox. Very, very interesting, very nice. So the command you supply here is what's going to run. If I go with that V, it's going to go with the verbose, right? So let's try that one. So there's another way you can also run. You can also specify a particular Python version you want to test against. So go with Tox, dash E. Then in case I want to test against Python 3.6, just go with this option. So it's only going to test it against Python 3.6 and ignore the rest, right? So what it's going to do is that to test for only Python 3.6, although we have Python 3.7 on our file, to only use Python 3.6, verbose mode, right? Just as we have it here. So that's what you, you are seeing it here, right? So with this option, you limit it to the particular Python version you want to test against. So in case one of them failed and you did not have it, you can just use that option. it takes a lot of time right so that's why sometimes you have to use a a, a, a cloud build like travis ci or circle ci when you're of the ci's perfect so this is a final result right because we are using the verbose mode for python very interesting so that is how to work with talks very very simple so the first thing is that you first of all need to install talks so after installing talks you just need to create your toss.inn file, then you specify the particular ve Python version you want to test against. In case you are using a pile project or tomorrow file, just go with this option. In case it's a set setup, just go with this option, right? Any of them. Then you specify the commands you want to run, then the particular dependencies. That is how to work with talks. So thank you for watching this long tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section below. And then please don't forget to subscribe and check the link below for some interesting material to help you master machine learning and then Python. So thank you. 
see you in the next session stay blessed